hi friends today i'm going to show you some amazing tricks and some advanced settings of twixter to get something like this i hope you guys like this review and i know it's very smooth so let's get started but first today's video is sponsored by video pro converter ai this has a bunch of ai features which is really amazing you can try it from the game and link in the description first let's open the super resolution you just drag and drop your clip after that you can adjust the ai model i will recommend the gen detail v also make sure to enable the high quality mode and also enable the deinterlacing you can try the enhanced version but i will just recommend the scale version after that let me show you the preview as you can see it, it creating a bunch of detail on it you can also interpolate your video fps if you want a really smooth preview of your video just like this it's really easy so make sure to try the video work ai converter back to the video as you know most of the editors cut the intro part in cap cut but in cap cut we can lowest go on 24 fps but in the most movie parts the clip is like 23.9 fps I know it's a small value but still it's a value. So I'm going to export this at 1, uh, 24 fps. After that I'm going to take this clip in After Effects as you can see it's 24 fps. Okay now what I'm going to do is change the composition fps. What will it do? It will remove any fake frame in the clip. Sometimes it happens some of the frames are fake or dead frames which will give choppiness into our video and this will fix it so i'm going to export it at 23.9 fps and trust me it may make some difference maybe not much but still make the some difference so after that i have exported into the outer effect and now its fps is 23.976 after that let's cut, cut the clips where the scene changes just like this here and this is all the scene we have and then we're going to add our twixture effect twixture pro and here guys you need to copy my settings so watch carefully first disable this we don't need this after that i'm going to add the same fps that we export 23.976 make sure this is the number other than enable this and this and you can use the inverse or forward inverse is good but if you get some glitches you can also use the forward it will give you some less glitches after that you can enable this at 100 which will give us better motion blur and better smoothness as, you, as i said you can also use the forward after that pre-compose these clips and then you have to change the fps in this composition which is 60 and after that let it render and i will show you the preview as you can see it's really smooth and crisp very nice also there you can enhance your clip and it will look something like this with quality and cc so i hope you guys like this tutorial and make sure to use my setting it will give you best results and i uh, will see you in the next video thank you